you might recall that about a month ago, just over a month ago, I came around to a papa on an official assignment and based on the intelligence available to my office, I informed officers that there is an influx of containers that have defied various prohibition laws and regulations in the ports. I challenged them to go after these containers and after the importers of these containers and bring them to book. I am happy that our officers in a Papa command have realized that it's important that we do not sacrifice the health and the security of Nigerians and everyone living in this country on the altar of trade facilitation. I am pleased to state that our officers are now living up to the expectations by executing the mandates that I gave to them to the fullest. Today, I am here to present seizures made by a Papa command. We have seen a couple of them. They comprise of expired and controlled pharmaceutical products with a duty, total duty paid value of 1.8 billion Naira. Let me explain that these items, if they are allowed to exit the ports, would undermine the security of our dear nation by influencing the behavior of individuals involved in criminal activities often fueled by illicit drugs such as tramadol. Apart from being expired, some of the drugs that we have seen today were imported without undergoing the necessary regulatory requirements, such as the NAFDAQ number. We also have containers that were seized largely due to false declarations, ostensibly to evade customs duty payments. And this is tantamount to smuggling. In total, we have seen 12 containers today that have been seized. All these containers were imported in flagrant violation of Section 233 of the Nigeria Customs Service Act 2023. And let me give some details of each of these containers. One of them, a 40-footer, with number SEGU4339917 was declared to contain baclofen tablets, metoprolol succinate, atenol gloves, lorsetan potassium, and so on and so forth. However, when subjected to examination, it was found to contain health immune supplements that has expired. And there are lots of other tablets, other active ingredients inside the containers, which are all, all been expired. In this examined container, as in many others that have been seized by the command, the expired and unexpired medicaments did not carry the required NAFDAQ number. In addition to the expired pharmaceutical products, another 20-footer, number DFSU 1362498, was found to contain cartons of royal tramadol in 225 milligram package, which were concealed with expired cartons of really extra energy. I mean, there is nothing in these uh, uh, fiscal measures that says that rice will be brought in uh, through the border. Nothing has changed in the importation of rice, apart from the fact that brown rice or rice paddies will be allowed duty-free. 
that is the only amendment to, to uh, the fiscal policies. So the extant policies on rice still remain the same. Importation through the land borders is still restricted. And of course, it is already removed from the items that could not access uh, Forex. So those who have the money, uh, who have the Forex, and if they want to import it, you know, can still bring it. You know that periodically, we still have rice imported in the ports, some of them in smaller packages, in uh, packets, in, uh, you know, those processed rice. They still come into the country. It's not under import prohibition as yet.